Behind me is the Wheat Gretton stable yard in Lenham where the robbery took place more than two years ago. On the evening of April 26th, 2016, a heavily armed gang broke into a traveller's site in Lenham, terrifying the residents. Maystone Crown Court heard in a series of trials how masked robbers went equipped with tape, gloves, torches, cable ties and demolition bars purchased from B&Q and Poundland shortly before the attack. Victims were bound and one couple had guns held to their heads in front of their young son as the men demanded large sums of money. The robbers eventually fled when the residents fought back, chasing them across nearby fields and damaging getaway cars. The trial of the robbery lasted more than two years, with the last sentence being passed just yesterday. The men involved each received hefty prison sentences, toting more than 200 years between them. Two of the 14 robbers came from Kent, Darren Myers and Jake Jenks, both from Tunbridge Wells. Now, residents in the village at the time have recalled the incident and remember women and children running to their houses seeking safety. Well, I was in bed, I don't know what time it was, but obviously reasonably late and heard quite a lot of commotion outside and opened the window and saw figures moving past our house and going further along and knocking on a door further along and then being let into the house. Didn't really see what was happening, but then after about oh half an hour or so, uh, the door opened. By this time, cars were driving round in the area and uh, then I saw, I think it was two women and some children walking down the path of the house where they'd been staying and getting into a car. Well, as far as I'm concerned, we've never been worried about the site. Um, they've never been any trouble to us. In number two um, was when they actually came and uh, knocked on his door during the course of the night. Uh, we heard about it from the following morning, so basically it was all a surprise to us the following morning. Although two years later there is finally some justice, for the families involved this ordeal is something that still haunts them. This is Christina Curtis for KMTV.